today we're just going to recap how to do an hexagonal prism and more specifically a cylindrical hole so I've got this diagram here in third so here you can see the front view the top view and the thickness is 20 and then you'll see here the 40 here is remember that with the hexagon if the side is 40 it means that the radius is 40 as well so the entire length there is 80 All right, then the circle has a radius of 20 so that's the distance that you would probably set in your compass if you want to construct that then before you cannot do that directly into an isometric so what you have to do you have to draw an auxiliary view of the hexagon somewhere we have space on the page so you take the radius which is 40 you set your compass to it and you draw the outside circle then you put your compass on the left side you draw the curve rinse and repeat and then you'll find these points at the top and bottom then you connect them to get the hexagon and then you can also draw a full block around it I find that uh, more times than not that it helps quite a lot so you'll see that the distance from that corner of the full block in is 20 okay then you can actually go and convert over to your isometric so you'll see here I've taken the width which is 20 the height is 69 and the length is 80 and the 69 we actually get from here so the distance from top to bottom there is 69 and we plot that down then we mark it and we complete the full block by also adding the back corners you'll see there's the top I've added the back corners there, here's the left side and here's the front so from A those distances are 80, 69 and 20 then there are two ways to approach this one you can use the full block and measure from the side so for example you can measure from there to there and then from there to there and you can go here here and here and plot it on the line as well or you can use the center I prefer the central method but again uh, whatever works for you so you'll see that distance 20 there is the same distance from there to there is 20 from there to there is 20 and then obviously if you, if you mark the middle of that line you just connect the points and you find your first hexagon then you want to add the thickness so you go at 30 degrees from each corner and you draw a line until you hit the back of the full block and then you just connect the back corners and they should be parallel and voila your hexagonal prism is done but now the main focus for today is in fact the round hole that we're going to add now we know that the hole has a radius of 20 I'm not going to do an auxiliary for that one because when you do the hole you can simply go from the center and measure 20 each way right and then you can draw the full block for that as well you can see here that I have actually drawn this little isometric square which uh, for the hole now to do the hole there's only really one good method to use so what you're going to do is you go to the blunt corners now please take note this sharp corner is less than 90 degrees this blunt corner is more than 90 so a very common mistake for students is to actually go from this corner and that's wrong please make sure you go from the blunt ones and then you take that corner and you go from each side you go to the opposite middle point there and there repeat for this blunt corner you go to the opposite middle point and then you find this A and V construction on that area so now it becomes actually quite easy so what you're going to do is now I don't have a compass here so I want you to imagine putting your compass on that blunt corner you move your lead part all along the line and when you stop at the construction you can actually go and draw your curve and it should look something like this then you repeat you put your compass on the blunt corner move the lead part until you go to the opposite middle point and draw it solid straight away and now you can see that you actually have two curves sitting on each side then you move it until it lines up with the first curve and then you can draw it solid straight away as well it's actually quite easy and you repeat on the other side All right so now it looks like this but now you're actually not done yet because if this is a hole going through this object you can actually see the back corner uh, inside there we know that the thickness is 20 so the curve that you see here in the bottom right okay that center is sitting here 
So the way to tackle that one is to simply take this point and draw a construction line at 30 degrees and then you mark down 20 millimeters because we know the thickness is 20 there so you mark down 20 millimeters you put it on that new compass point you use the same radius as before so you, your compass you set it to that point and that curve move it 20 back and then when you line it up you should be able to get the curve sh viewing or showing inside the hole and there it is you're all done